five months since the disappearance of Chadwick Carr. His family hoping to renew community efforts to locate him following the increased national and local attention on missing persons cases. And we first told you about Chadwick back in May, the 32-year-old last seen on May 2nd. He lived in Anderson County, but was known to frequent Knoxville and was reportedly last seen near North Central Street and Morelia Avenue. Tonight, his family spoke to WAT6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown, reminding the community to continue to be on the lookout. Jordan? Yeah, Bo, when we last talked to Chadwick's family, he had been missing for about two weeks. But five months later, not much has changed in the investigation. But the family has not given up hope. The spotlight on recent missing persons cases have renewed their faith in finding out what happened to Chad. The family of Chadwick Carr is still searching for answers. We are still looking for Chad. We are still working and praying and just striving on to keep on finding, to just finding Chad's whereabouts. They want to get the community more involved. A new burst of hope brought on by widespread attention to the cases of Summer Wells, Gabby Petito, and most recently, Deshina Kyle. There's been several people missing, so my heart goes out. You know, even though we haven't found Chad, I just still my, I'm staying positive. I want to make sure that my brother is not one that is looked over because this has took a big national turn and then my brother's case is still like non-existent at this point. While the family waits for answers, they're filling their time by planning events to honor Chad and hopefully help bring him home. We want to do a visual. We want to see if we can get the community to help. I don't know how. We just got to get some people that know some other people that could, you know, we're, my hands are tied. I don't know what else to do. So now it's time to, you know, reach out to the community and other people that know maybe or give us some help and then advice on what to do to get, you know, to give us some, some kind of closure. Now the family says all information for future events in honor of Chad will be shared on social media. Bo? All right, Jordan, thank you so very much. You know, at last check with detectives, the family says there have been no major developments in Chad's case.